before stopping by, thanks for clicking on my video. As you can see from the title, today we are going to be doing a full face of Shop Miss A makeup. If you don't know what that website is, it's a website where basically most of their makeup is a dollar. If it's not a dollar, it's a little over a dollar. I've been using their makeup for a really long time and there's a lot of products that I love, so I want to share that with you guys. I'm going to do a full face. I have no makeup on right now, if you couldn't already tell, and we are going to get started with every single product that you can think of. We have primer, foundation, all the way to setting spray, so today is going to be a complete and total makeover using all $1 or around $1 products. If you're new here, as I'm sure you are because this is the very beginning of my YouTube channel, please click the subscribe button. I have a lot of fun things coming, a lot of affordable things, makeup, beauty, fashion, vlog style things, so please hang around. Okay, so let's just get right into it. I am going to start obviously with priming my face. I'm going to be using the AOA Perfect Filter Primer. This is their Paw Paw collection and basically if they have things that cost over a dollar, it's normally a charity collection. So this one, this primer costs a dollar and 55 cents. So my understanding is a portion of that goes to animal shelters that they have selected. Love sanding for that. This is one of my favorite primers right now over any primer that I've used. It's really lightweight, moisturizing smells good but it's not like overbearing which is awesome I'm very like sensitive to smells I don't like super fragranced things so this one is my favorite so now that we are all primed, I'm going to be using the AOA Studio Buildable Satin Foundation. This is another one of their charity collections. This is the A Plus collection, so I'm pretty sure that this goes to schools, education, things like that. So these are, I believe, $1.88 per foundation bottle, and I got three colors because I didn't know what shade I was, and I really didn't trust like the whole online buying system. So I bought three. They're kind of affordable enough to do that, so I wasn't mad about it and I'm glad I did because I mix all of them together for different parts of the season different parts of the year so this is the Paw Paw blender shop miss a has the best blenders hands down best blenders I've ever used they are I think a dollar a piece they might have a few that are a little over a dollar because they're part of special collections but around a dollar a piece and they are seriously the best blenders I've ever used so I'm just gonna go in with this foundation a little goes a long way. You don't need a lot of this foundation. It's really like full coverage, as you can probably see from the camera. It covers up a lot of redness, discoloration, problem areas. Now I mixed the shades 302 and 304, both part of the light collection. They're pretty good with shade ranges, so they have different collections for different skin tones. The light for all of my products from them because your girl is pale. I did wet my blender first. There's a mirror behind you if you're wondering why I'm like looking over the camera. It's because I'm looking at myself to blend this out. This is only a few drops like it's nothing crazy and then like it says it is buildable so if you're not getting enough coverage the first time, you can always just go back in and pat some more on top, which is great. I wouldn't say it's like a super matte formula, but it's not really like glossy or shiny either. Like you're not going to look oily. I have combo to oily skin and I've never had an issue. I do set it with powder after, but we'll get to that. I'm going to put a little bit more on. I wouldn't normally like wear this much probably, but I want to just give you guys the full, full face experience. I have not worn my makeup in days because we are in the midst of the pandemic of COVID-19 and I don't leave my house anymore, so. All right, so here's our foundation. This stuff is great, I really like it. You guys can see like the coverage that it gave me from just a few drops and so affordable, like under $2. I can't think of another foundation that is that cheap at all that's this good. The next product I'm going to go into is the Paw Paw Liquid Concealer. It's part of the same collection as the primer. You can kind of see that their packaging is the same. Really, really cute packaging and it's a squeeze bottle, super hygienic, and they give you a ton of product. This is $1.55 per bottle and they are generous with the portion of product. I have really bad dark circles and under eye bags if you couldn't tell from the beginning or probably even right now. So I'm pretty picky about my concealer. They need to be, they need to work hard. And this one has not disappointed. So again, I'm taking not a lot of product. It's really generous. This is in the shade 
fair ivory. So again, super pale. Could have probably maybe done a shade darker in this, but it's been working fine. One of my pet peeves about concealers is sometimes they oxidize to like a completely different color than you started with, and I cannot stand that, but this one doesn't do that, which is great. What you see is what you get. All right, so concealer is done. I'm gonna pat it in like some other areas just to kind of act as like a highlight. Next, I'm going to go in, I should mention the brushes. So I use the Faux Mink brush set by Shop Miss A. I use these brushes every single day for every single product, even if it's not their product. I like it better than any other brushes I've ever owned. They are just really, really, really nice. So I'm using the AOA Studio Perfect Finishing Powder and the shade Porcelain. And I like to just go in and set pretty much everything with this powder. I don't love baking my face because I feel like it just changes the color of my concealer. And I don't really like the way that my face looks after I do that. So I just use a pressed powder and just go into like my highlighting areas. And I just try to like highlight a little bit with the powder and just mattify all that stuff. So I probably should have done this one before I just did that, but we're invested, we're too late in the game. To contour, I'm going to use the Sculpt FX Contour Stick. This is not my favorite product. I don't really use this that much and I don't necessarily recommend it. It's not bad, it's just not really like great either. It's not the best contour that you can get. This was I think one dollar. And this is the shade Clay, which is kind of off-putting but it just doesn't blend well like I'm putting a lot of effort into blending this contour out and the blender is doing a lot of the work which is good because these blenders are amazing but overall it's a lot of work and it's not that much reward Alright, so that's my contour. Not the best. Not horrible, but not the best. I go in a weird order when I do my makeup. I'm going to admit that right now. So I'm going to do my eyebrows next. This is the Sculpting Brow Pencil from AOA. I really enjoy the brow products that they have. They're great dupes for like high-end products. I actually got a product in my Ipsy bag one time. And I'm not going to say the brand name because I don't want to like make anyone mad, but... It was literally this exact same product. Like the packaging was pretty much the same with just a different label. And the product inside was also the exact same. And I think it's so crazy because this one costed a dollar and that one retailed for over $20 for the exact same product, no joke. Crazy. This is the AOA Studio Perfect Blush in the shade Euphoria. It's like a Barbie pink blush, but it doesn't really look Barbie pink on the face. It looks, it's like a good hue of pink, I would say, for a blush. It gives you like enough color. So that's it for the face. And I'm going to move on to my eyes. These palettes are $10 a piece and they come with 25 shades. So one palette is a neutral palette. This is the XOXO palette. I use this most often because I'm kind of boring when it comes to eyeshadow. And then I also was feeling frisky one night. I don't know what happened. There might have been some wine involved. I'm not sure, but I ordered the Immersed palette and this one has a lot more vibrant colors in it. So I don't use this very often because I'm, it's just not an everyday thing for me, but I do use the XOXO palette all the time. The colors don't have names on them, unfortunately, but I'm just going to do a quick eyeshadow look. I look so far. I'm gonna keep it pretty simple because, I don't know, you guys didn't come here to see a full eyeshadow tutorial. And I'm going to use the Velour eyeshadows. This one is the shade Lucky Star. Accidentally ordered two of this same shade. So I have two of them. But they have a bunch of shades for this product and it's just so pretty. They're fun to use, they're like really squishy and like, they haven't dried out. I've probably had this eyeshadow. Honestly, it's probably past its expiration date. I'm not even gonna lie. And it's not dried out at all. And I'm gonna also go in with the shade Holiday. This is just a gold shade. I'm just gonna put it right in the middle of the lid. Okay, 
is our eye look for now. I'm going to use mascara. They have false lashes and their false lashes should not be underrated. They have amazing, amazing lashes. I unfortunately don't have any right now, so I cannot show you guys the falsies, but 10 out of 10 recommend. They are a dollar a piece. Here is one of our last products. This is the Fat Lash Mascara. I'm going to be completely honest. I don't like this mascara, but I did say we were going to do a full face of Shot Miss A, and I am no liar. So we are going to do a full face of Shot Miss A, but I don't like it. I don't recommend it. It's very messy and like goopy when it comes out, so it's hard to use it. I really like the actual brush itself. I think it's more so the bottle that is the issue. Um, I'm gonna try and get this on my eyes without getting it all over. So there's one eye. My eyelashes are extremely short and stubby and not curled at all so that's not helpful but there's our eyelashes. They don't look good. They don't look great. They'll do the trick though. So the last thing I'm going to do is my lips, of course. I have the AOA Studio Wonder 24 Hour Lipstick. This is a matte lipstick in the shade Glow. Um, another thing I don't love, I'm not a matte lipstick girl, so that could have something to do with it. Uh, I just don't really like the product itself. It smells kind of funny. Yeah, it's just not that great. I like the color a lot. I just don't love the lipstick and I don't want to lie. I'm not going to tell you guys I like something. When I don't, I don't like that. But it was actually just serving as the base to the star product of this YouTube video. This is the AOA Diamond Lip Gloss. First of all, it's adorable. It has little diamonds all over it. So cute. This is my favorite lip gloss of all time. It takes me back to the early 2000s. It is like pure glitter. And... It's amazing. It's not sticky. It doesn't smell weird. It's so shiny and it just lasts all day long. So the diamond gloss is a total, is a total go get it. Go get it right now. It's my favorite. I love it. And then I'm also going to use the setting spray. I don't like their setting spray because of how fragranced it is. I have used it for a whole day and it does a good job. It keeps your makeup on, but it smells like a straight up perfume and like I said before I'm kind of sensitive to smells I don't like them so I'm gonna spritz it on but I'm not very happy about it if you can handle smells this smells like a flower if you can handle that you might want to try it but if if not don't so that is it. That concludes our full face of Shop Miss A products. I will link all the products down below. If you like the video, if you want to see an updated one with new products, leave a comment, like the video, subscribe for more. Thank you guys for watching.